Hey folks, and welcome to Truck King and lovely Johnson Valley, California. We are down here with this truck, the Chevy Colorado ZR2 or ZR2 Bison. And of course, Dad, the ZR2, this thing basically created the mid-size high-speed off-road segment and everyone else has followed them in. So we got to try the second gen and see if it's still any good. And they've made it even better. And there are no trees out here for you to hit today. So we can go real quick and we're <laughs> going to do that right now and tell you all about this truck. Alright folks, so now here we are out in the desert in a Colorado ZR2 Bison. And you know what that ZR2... Yo! Hello! <laughs> We know ZR2, this is its natural territory. And just like a lot of the off-road trucks we test these days, they're very desert focused. So kudos to Chevy for bringing us out here and letting us feel it in its natural environment. And this trail is pounding on this truck. So I think the first thing you gotta talk about is the suspension. And what are we now? We're about 25 miles an hour coming through these big whoops. And we're getting bounced around, but it's not punishing. It is not a stiff ride. <laughs> Even coming through there, you don't feel like it's bottoming out. You know what I mean? It feels like there's still a bit left. What, what do you feel? No, absolutely right. Yeah, we haven't bottomed out yet. Of course, we haven't really ripped on her yet. That's true. We're not going crazy um, fast. Right now, we're just kind of going circus style here, nose to tail. So, yeah, there's, I really can't go more than 25 miles an hour, but boy, the whoops are just, you know, because we're on a trail here. This is Johnson Valley, California. It's a very popular off-roading area. And, you know, multiple vehicles through here, they just, they, they make whoops like crazy. <laughs> and, and so we're just beating on them all right now, but we have not bottomed this truck. Well, Jake, thanks so much for having us out here to drive this uh, pretty amazing truck here in the desert. We've been having a blast. Um, so first of all, can we just go over, you know, what makes a ZR2 a ZR2? And then beyond that, what makes a Bison a Bison? Because this is both a ZR2 and a Bison. So let's talk about the packages. Yep. So biggest thing from stepping up from base Colorado or even a trail boss to a ZR2 is the suspension. Sure. So you move to from a stamped steel control arm to cast iron lower control arms in the front. And then you get our the Multimatic uh, Position Sensitive Damping Dampers. Got it. Moving even further, uh, sticking with the suspension, going from ZR2 to Bison, we add the Jones Control Dampers that are also developed with Multimatic. That's exactly what I was going to ask. So that's a Bison-specific thing as well? Bison-specific. Okay. Yep, because it comes standard on Bison. Do you know, because we were talking about this today driving the truck, do you know how much travel that Jones bumper has? Like where in the travel it engages? So it's different front to rear. Okay. Um, in the front, you get about... 25 mils of travel, okay. 20 to 25 mils of travel before you're engaging the, the Jones Control Damper. The Jones Control Damper, yep. interesting. And Very it's cool. fairly seamless. You shouldn't feel a huge abrupt stop, but you do hear a bit of ticking knowing they're working. Sure, of course. Um, so then up front, I know the other big thing you notice right away is that nice steel bumper, right? Yep, steel bumper. Uh, super proud of this bumper developed with AEV. We still are able to maintain our 38.2 degree approach angle that we have on ZR2 nice. with Bison. The 35s help with that, but it's winch capable. Got so it. ZR2 does not have a from the factory winch capable bumper. That's a an add-on option. Nice. And yep. you can order that winch from the accessory catalog. Is that correct? correct? Yep. Okay. Very nice. So you could get it with a winch. Yep. Nice. Um, so yeah. Then talk to me about the tires. You mentioned they're 35s, but uh, the Goodyear Wrangler territories. These have become very popular around the industry. So how come you went with these ones? Great and, tires uh, all around for everything. Yeah. Like you don't lose handling, especially going to a 35. That's something we really want to focus on. Is you, most people are going to be driving this on road more sure. often than not. Sure. The other nice thing about these tires, they're quiet yeah. for what they are. Sure. Super quiet tire. And then uh, they're mated to uh, AEV Crestone wheels, beadlock capable. So you can order, uh, you can get the rings from the factory as well. You add them on as an accessory. Got it. And then the, the wheels are uh, slightly wider offset, additional 12 mils from ZR2. So it gives you a little bit wider stance. A little bit wider stance too. Nice. And then, yeah, more protection, right? You get the rock rail. And then I know there's skid plates. I believe there's five. Is that right? Yeah, five skid plates. You got the one up front protecting the radiator. And then you got uh, another one protecting uh, steering gear trans. And then your third one is the fuel tank 
or sorry, the T case, and then fuel tank and rear diff. Got it. Yeah, I love the little rear diff one. It's just so cute on that little. Pumpkin. Yep, it's nice but, to. And you don't see them very often. You don't see them very often. It's nice when you're going over some rocks that you don't really have to worry about. Yeah. Getting a nice hit on the diff. Of course. So we're in the sandy wash now, Dad, and, and more than handling, talk to me about the engine. What kind of power do you feel? Do you feel like it's powerful enough, good torque? What do you feel out of the engine? The sand sucks up your bow, right? Oh, without a doubt. It's adequate, but uh, you know what? The transmission's making up for it because it's digging deep into the gears uh, quite quickly. It's responding quite fast. So yeah, not unhappy so far. Good. So let's talk about the slow speed rock crawling. Dad just drove through that gnarly section. I did. And I know you were in four low, locked up, and with terrain mode on. So with all that engaged, uh, what did you feel? Terrain mode, which equals one pedal drive in these, replaces the need to uh, do brake gas, like the way that I learned how to do sure. back in the day with slow speed picking your way through rock stuff. One foot on the brake, one foot on the gas. So that you didn't have the, the jerking and the modulation. Well, this works, this thing is perfect. I mean, you just get off the gas, it comes to a dead stop and holds it. If you just back off a little bit, well then it kind of just dribbles mm -hmm. through. Um, and then at the same time, as you're crawling, as you're coming up to like a significant boulder and you need that, that front tire to climb, but you know that as soon as you get to the top of it, if you keep up on the gas, you're going you're gonna to push forward and fly and smash your undercarriage. Mm -hmm. So the one pedal just gives you this incredible precision. Yeah, it's, precision's it's the best really, part. really good. Yeah, you, you lose all of that jerkiness and it just allows you to be super smooth, which is exactly what you want to be. And then this is something I think I say in every single mid-size off-road truck video, but I think you always have to say it. This truck feels right-sized out here. Doesn't feel too heavy, doesn't feel too big for the trail. And I think that adds to that precision handling feeling, right? It, it absolutely does because the whole thing with off-roading is sight lines. Mm. Sight lines, if you can't see what you're about to drive over, bad things are gonna happen. Sure. And I'm happy you brought that up because we are employing our off-road cameras here today and we just came over that hilltop. That's when it's most useful when you're coming up and over a hill because you're actually able to see what's in front of you unlike out your windshield when you're looking at the sky, right? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. It takes a lot of that guesswork out of it. And one more time, it's like, it's like you know what, the way we used to do it was fun. But uh, every day you'd have nasty surprises. When you finally got around to having a beer at night, you usually spend a lot of time talking about the thing you never saw that smashed the hell out of you. Sure, yeah. So yeah. there's a little. There's going to be a little bit of a less of that now when it comes to storytelling. Yeah. And I will say, I think this is my favorite view right here. It actually is showing you underneath the truck looking forward at your front wheels and your nose camera so again you get a really great sense for what's in front of you and underneath you and as you're driving over the rocks it's cool to watch the rock and then see it in relation to your tire yep once again precision it really allows you to be precise with how you're handling the truck because you have very little or, or almost no unexpected things that you're suddenly hitting. and as i always say steve you know Oftentimes in off-roading, and there's a lot of guesswork, such as, you know, did I hit that pedestrian? Well, <laughs> now you can actually look at the camera and go, oh yeah, he is down there. <laughs> there <he> is. <laughs> and one thing I'll just come back to, because I asked you earlier in four high about the power, in four low, you feel good about the torque, any turbo lag, anything like that you feel in? No, in four low in particular, it just, it multiplies your power so much. Sure. Um, and it's, it was more than adequate. I didn't at any moment say, geez, I wish I had more juice. Well, thank God for the rock rail right there. Yeah. <laughs> and, and you know what, we should mention now, we are in the Bison. This is not just the ZR2. And the Bison package is essentially about protection. Uh, yes, we do get 35 inch tires now with Bison, which is epic, but it's mostly about skid plates all the way underneath the truck, standard rock rails, steel bumpers, protection. Because once again, this is hardcore real off-roading, and you inevitably are going to hit something. Yeah, so. I think I think you said five skid plates right. underneath, and I know I've hit every one of them. Yeah, exactly. So uh, we do appreciate having the Bison package out here today. ZR2, just as good high speed and just as good off-road, but uh, yeah, it just doesn't offer up the protection. Uh, so another thing I wanted to ask you about is, is you guys are still leaf springs in your rear end. So how do the leaf springs differ from a ZR2 to a standard Colorado? So same leaf spring, but we have a half inch spacer. 
okay. giving you a, that the lift. Gotcha. So it's and just the ability lift. to package the 35. Of course, yeah. But it's, so it's just the shocks that are changed out. The leaf actually stays the same. Yep. Okay. So shocks are uh, different tuning. Um, same travels, so we're able to maintain the same travels as ZR2. Nice. Okay, very nice. And then, I mean, as we get around the back, you notice in the bed right away, you guys got your spare tire mounted up there, and I take it that was necessary, correct? That was necessary due to the size of it. Yeah. It doesn't fit very well underneath anymore. Yeah. Um, yep, but we wanted to make sure that you could still utilize the bed. Sure. So mounting it vertical was uh, the best solution we had for Yeah, it. and that's standard on Bison, but not on ZR2. Correct. Right? Yep, okay. ZR2 is still underneath the bed. Got it, because they are 33s on ZR2, 33s. Right? Okay, got it. Um, and then something that's not, you know, ZR2 specific, but I always want to show it off, is your cool little tailgate store. Here, did I do it the right way? This is neat, man. Uh, it's a smart idea, and as you know, uh, the innovation in tailgates these days is getting crazy. Everyone wants something, so this is a fun idea, right? Yeah, personally, I use mine for toe straps. Nice, fit nice in yeah. there. Yeah, that is a smart idea, and you yeah. never know when you need a toe strap, right? For yourself or someone else, exactly. <laughs> Awesome. Well, I think that covers most of it. Is there anything we missed? We got uh, one more here thing here, the stainless steel rear bumper. Sure. Uh, gives you the 26 degree uh, departure angle. Nice. And uh, nice for hitting any rocks if you do hit them. Solid steel back here. Yeah. And then uh, the integrated recovery hooks. Yeah, we love the recovery points. Yep. Nice, easy to get to. You know, you could put a soft shackle through there if you wanted or just a D-ring or whatever, yep. right? And so. I'll say we've definitely tested them there. They're yeah. good to go. Yeah, very nice. <laughs> uh, actually, the other thing I wish to talk about is, of course, the other off-road gear here. So you have lockers front and rear. Correct. Right, which is awesome. Um, and that's become a ZR2 kind of standard, except for HD, right? But ZR2 kind of means yep. both lockers. Yep, ZR2, you got front and rear electronic lockers. Yeah. And That's then awesome. uh, a wider range of vehicle modes with, you got terrain mode with the one pedal drive, which we utilize today. Sure, absolutely. Yeah, it's a great system, man. It really helps you be real smooth out there. Oh, yeah. Love the one pedal drive. And then uh, another feature for uh, ZR2, and it's now being pushed down to some of the other off-road trims, uh, is the underbody cameras, which I'm not sure if you guys took a look at those or not today. Got it. Yeah, we absolutely did. And same thing. They're helpful just to be able to kind of actually understand where your tires are in relation to that rock you just drove over. And... Yeah, yep. so very interesting. And then kind of one new uh, Easter egg we've got for 24 is uh, we've implemented uh, or enabled launch control in Baja mode. Oh, really? So it's a self-learning system and it's a, a cool new feature for 24. It'll be rolled across into ZR2 as well. Okay, yeah, I don't think we heard about that yet. How does yeah, it, it work? A, Tell me more. It wasn't a great spot to demonstrate today, at least okay. where we were, but uh, essentially uh, you're in Baja mode, you put the brake to the floor, gas to the floor, you'll get a little flashing indicator on the cluster and let off the brake. Nice. It'll, uh, it, depending on the surface you're on, you'll, um, it'll, if you, it senses wheel slip, sure. it'll knock you down a little bit. So to optimize your launch. Sure, if you're on sand or whatever yep. it is, right? Oh, yep. that's really cool. It works to know, in then. both two-wheel drive and four-wheel drive, but Baja mode specific. Nice. That's awesome. Uh, and then I think final question, if you know off the top of your head, pricing. Do you have it? I do not have pricing. Okay, yet. no worries. We'll get it. We'll put <laughs> yep. it up on screen. Everyone yep. will know. Well, I think that's it, Jake. Thanks yep. so much for having Thanks us. Thanks for coming out. out, guys. Yeah, we're going to have fun in the truck, man. This is a great off-road screen here in the driver's uh, info cluster. You're getting pitch and roll, you're getting your transfer case status, your four-wheel drive status, you have a compass, you have your temperatures there. And then the one that I think I like the most, Dad, and this is pretty common now in a lot of off-road vehicles, is the steering angle. So right off the bat, you can just look at your screen and know exactly how much steering you have dialed in. And once again, for slow speed crawling, yeah, sometimes you come to a stop and you don't know exactly where those wheels are. So you take one quick glance down and you know exactly how much steering you have dialed in. So I, I do really appreciate all of the information these trucks give us now. And this one is no different. And then we also have it over here too. You can get your more detailed uh, G meter there, which is pretty crazy to think we're you know out here pulling 1.3 Gs. Those must be on-road numbers. <laughs> Can't believe you're pulling Gs off-road. But then same thing, transfer case, steering angle, your lockers are there. But then there's also different modes. You have terrain here too. It's just different information. We are aired down right now. It's kind of funny that that one's reading 17, the rest are around 20. But yeah, we are aired down. And then you also have the overlanding screen, which I believe will offer our elevation. There it is. I was just talking about that earlier. 2,893 feet of elevation right now which is, uh, yeah, that's pretty neat. And then once again, the compass there. And your GPS coordinates, that's cool. Well, that's handy for when you call 911. <laughs> yeah, and you can say, this is exactly <laughs> where I am. Send the chopper here. Out in the desert. <laughs> yeah, so again, this isn't unique to Chevy. Everyone's doing this, but yeah, this truck just offers so much information. They really try to tailor it to whatever you're doing. 
uh, off-road and yeah I just appreciate it you can't you can't get too much info from your truck as the driver you know it just helps you to, to, to drive the truck and judge how to treat it. The thing I like the best about it Steve is that it offers the experienced off-roader more information than he's ever had before but what it does for the novice is it helps him learn mm -hmm. and and takes away some of that that really you know gut crunching nervousness because you do get a lot of information and this information will help you you know increase your your abilities sure finally we got the chance to hit the open desert at high speeds oh and there might have been some donuts as well this truck really comes alive at 45 50 miles per hour and there's tons of turbocharged power which is always accessible thanks to baja mode which keeps the rpms up now the Multimatic suspension keeps the tires planted to the ground even though the speeds suggest that the truck should be taking off. Honestly this is one of the best well-rounded off-road trucks on the market. You saw the rock crawling it can do and then it has a whole other personality when you hit the desert at high speeds and it just soaks it up. Again this has to be one of the best well-rounded off-road trucks you can get. Well folks, we have come to the end of this one and after a day of high speed and rock crawling, we've done a bit of everything. Ever we though. The ZR2 performed in all situations. I can't find anything to complain about. This is a great little off-road truck. At the moment, the way this thing is put together, and I don't like the gush, but damn, this is a good off-road truck. Yeah, so now all we gotta do is wait for Tacoma TRD Pro and Ranger Raptor to show up and then we're really gonna have a shootout on our hands. But for right now, today, I think this is probably the best mid-size off-roader that money can buy. And yeah, that's it for this one. So please go below into the comments. Let us know what you think of this truck. As always, while you're down there, don't forget to hit like, hit subscribe, hit join to become a Truck King member, and then come right back here to the channel to see what we're testing next. See ya. Thank you.